Hi, so this is the solo Two Mosquito song. I got a request on the Mosquito song lesson for the solo. Any chance of the solo? Had a look, can't find the tabs online. Um, there's one guy on YouTube who's played it all the way through, which is great, very helpful for me. I've tabbed it all out. The tabs are here and I'll make them available if people want them. So we're going to start with the first part. We're sliding from one to five on the B string. This is not actually necessary. It kind of sounds like on the record, he just starts there. Like this. And what we're doing is we're sliding in and then just flattening our finger down onto the high E. Up to the fifth on the B, and then fifth on the high E. Back to the fifth, we're going to alternate. Back to the fifth every time. So we're going to go five on the B, and then we're going to go five on the high E. 5 on the B, back to the 7 on the high E, 5 on the B, back to the 8 now on the high E, and then back to that 5 on the B string again. And then we're going to slide with our little finger from that 8 here up to that 12. Uh, and that's going to be the whole first part. Really nice, okay? So I'll just play it through one more time. Have a look. Okay, so we're going to be going like this. Very nice. Then, optional, but sounds pretty nice, is we have a, a D7 shape. Backwards D. We're going to be playing it here. Giving us a C7 shape. I should also point out that I'm two whole steps down to match the song this time. People seem to be a little confused about that before, but it'll all be in the description. So, I'm playing this C7 shape and it's going to be a rake. I'm just going to play straight into it, strumming through it very slowly. So that's why those notes are stacked up. That's 13 on the G, 12 on the B string, 12 on the high E. Like that. And that's going to give me my run into this. We could always just play straight from the 13 if that's if finding that tricky. So. Here we go, we've got a nice little run there. So we're going 13 is where we end from our chord, down to the 12 on the high E, going 15, 13, 12 on the B string, and then we're going to go 14, 13 on the G, and then 13, uh, 14, sorry, on the D string there. It's quite a nice little run, so. harder to do slow at the moment, so that's our little bit there. So linked together the whole of this first part goes like this. There's a little bit of a pause on the 13 before we get to the 14. D string there, so then there's a little bit of a pause after that, and we're going to be doing the next section. So I'll just get that up for us. That will be part number two. Fantastic. Okay, so here we're doing a pull off, 
hammer on on the B string, 10, 8, 10. So play 10, pull off to 8, hammer on to 10 again. 7, 9 on the G string. And then 10, 9 on the D string. Now we're going to this next section where we're going to be barring at the fifth fret the B and the high E strings and then we're going to be playing the eighth fret, seventh fret and then open to our bar twice so just like that it takes a little bit of getting used to that but it's pretty straightforward it's not too bad and then we're going to slide that up to the 10th fret, we're now going to be barring the B and the high E at the 10th fret, and we're going to play 13, 13, 12, 10, 10, so, and we're playing the B string alongside every note, okay, so like this. And that whole piece repeats twice but it's a slight variation on the end so we'll go through the whole of that section just there to the next section and get through this nice and quick. So here we have a repetition of what we just did but with the variation on the end. So again we're starting fifth fret barring the B and the E. Doing the same pattern. So that's where our variation is. All we're doing is stepping down it like normal and then we're going back up so we're playing the 10 every time on the B string, but on the high E we're going 13, 12, 10, 12, 13, and then sliding our little finger all the way up to the 19th fret, okay? Which is really cool, it sounds amazing. So, do that again. Nice and slow. So it's easy to follow. there and that's, that's both parts together okay all the way from the beginning That's our third part, get into our fourth part. Here we go. So here we're doing some hybrid picking and the whole of these first two sections here repeat twice with slight variation. I feel like I might have got that slightly wrong in the tab. I'll <laughs> have to double check it. Okay, so I'm using my pick for every note on the D string. My second finger is going to be used for the B string and the high E, okay? So I'm going to play the t tens together and then just my second finger coming over for that. So pick is on the D, pick and things together. You can do that. Pick, pick, hard to see. So, sliding up to 12. Back down again. Then just the tens. That one's kind of tricky, so when we get down to that, we're pulling off from 8 to 7. And then we're going here, 10th, with our third is easiest. And then pulling off that third, hammering it on really is about 
10 to the 9, kind of hammer that one on maybe. Then we're going to repeat that whole section again. And then the final one, back to the 10 to let it ring out. Do that. Okay, so it should sound like this. trying to do here when we're going between this kind of major se major shape or dominant seven shape we're then going to a minor one here and I'm switching my fingers switching my second and third fingers around to play that minor shape you could alternatively play with your little finger and then your minor shape is ready to go underneath find it a little bit less fluid so let's have a play with that uh, so all the way through to this piece. Final one, we're going to the 10, we're going to let that ring out. Okay? And then we're into our final section. Five. There we go, fantastic. So this, we're going down to the low end of the guitar. Just open on the A string there. Hammering on to the two, open hammer on two, and then hammer on three. Then I'm liking this where we're going from the three to the five. Hammering on three to five on the A string, and then to the second fret of the D and then we're going to go three on the low E and just an open E pretty smooth then open two on the D string we're going open G we can do that but we can do the fifth fret for the G string there then we're doing the same thing we're going to the four on the G then five, we can pull five to four to two, pull off, that's our end, or we can pluck them, it's up to you, so it should sound like this. I think I prefer going to the five there on the D string. So I'm referring to all of these strings as what they would be if we were in standard. I'm actually tuned two whole steps down because it seems like people, this is the original tuning of the song, people seem to want it that way, so we'll, we'll stick it like that, and if you want it in standard, let me know. Okay, so I'll just play the whole thing all the way through, and uh, yeah, should be, should be done with this one. It's a little bit complicated. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So there we go. That is the solo to Mosquito Song. Just about. <laughs> Good luck. Let me know if you need any help. Comments down there. Bye.